Hey, what's up, guys? Cross here. Body of Legends here on the 30th of October 2015. Um, what is this? Hollow's Eve? I think that's what people call it. Hollow's Eve. Tomorrow's Halloween. Here on the Stairmaster doing cardio, doing 400 calorie session. Trying to squeeze the glutes, trying to stretch the hamstring, and uh, trying to somewhat squeeze the quad as well. Of course, my little knee issue, I can't really get too much quad involved, so a big emphasis of mine is a lot of hams, glutes, calves. That's fine, no issue at all. Those areas I need to work anyway. My quads were already pretty dominant. So whatever. Um, yeah guys, we are seven weeks out of the AMBF World Championships in Key West, Florida. Uh, sitting at around 175. So probably about 10 pounds away from stage conditioning. And uh, with seven weeks ago, I think that's pretty achievable. Um, my hamstrings are already diced. Uh, quads are separated. Um, you know, abs are there. Tricep feathering is coming. Lower back feathering is coming. Um, the last area that ever loses fat on my body is those glutes, man. Them glutes, stubborn. Stubborn ass body part. But that's fine. Just gonna push me to work a little bit harder because if I want that extra level physique, conditioning wise, then I'm gonna have to. No one's gonna do the work for me and uh, it's just part of the process, I guess. But I love it, and uh, I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't love it. Um, you know, dieting isn't fun, but the process of seeing my physique transform literally week by week, like every week, I'm seeing something different. You know, that can be um, a new line or a new vein or a new little piece of separation somewhere. Um, you know, every week, man, it's. It's really phenomenal to really take your body to this kind of level um, and to know that it's all you. Um, you know, you could have someone in your corner kind of guiding you, telling you to do this and that, but that is still you. No one's doing this for you. No one's getting the work done for you. It's you. And that body was achieved by you. And it's just another level of confidence and, um, you know, self, self-worth that I really don't think I could get from anything else besides, I don't know. I have no idea what can make me feel this way. I really don't know. But, um, uh, you know, this is really something different. Um, maybe not for everyone, but definitely something different. Um, I'm excited. I'm here, busting my ass, doing my cardio, cutting my carbs, cutting my fats. Manipulating all my macros, making sure that fiber and everything else is adequate. Um, you know, really trying to get some sleep, definitely. You know, I haven't been getting much sleep at all lately. Um, but, you know, I'm trying to really make it a priority to get that, like, you know, seven to nine hours, man. You need to make that priority. Because at this point, I'm not going to really get much recovery from the food that I eat. Because my food intake is pretty low. Well, maybe not my food intake, but I guess my caloric intake is pretty low. I try to eat pretty high volume, um, high volume from vegetables. Like you can eat a lot of vegetables and barely get any calories. So I guess my volume of food is high, but the calories are low. But you know what I mean? I'm not getting much nutrients from the food to recover like I usually would if I was bulking or getting those kind of nutrients. So I need that extra sleep to properly recover um, and that's going to aid me in also fat loss as well. You can burn fat when you sleep. Yes, it's real and it's true. Um, I recommend going to bed on an empty stomach. Yeah, I know it's hard, but if you go to bed on an empty stomach, I always wake up leaner. I always wake up leaner. I always, like I feel like empty stomach sleeping, it's like, you know, maybe 30% of my fat burning, man. Like, seriously, I feel like it's very powerful. You know, all the cardio and dieting that I do, yeah, but that that bed night, 
empty stomach sleeping that is another level hell I tell you guys try it out definitely try it out it's hard but um if you could do it then I recommend it um, it's actually better for your body as well it's good to not have food in your stomach before you go to bed because your body doesn't have to focus on digesting food it can actually focus on sleeping and giving the body rest and actually recovering the body so it's actually not even good to eat before bed period I would say maybe uh, you know three hours before bed um, I mean if you want to have like a shake that's nothing you're gonna piss that out real quick um, not the protein portion I mean you're gonna absorb the protein you're gonna pee out the liquid like your stomach's pretty much gonna be empty don't worry about a shake I'm talking about meals I'm talking about like you know whole chicken and, and that kind of stuff so you know a little recommendation from me just try it out anyways gonna finish this cardio have about 60 calories to go then I'm gonna head home and uh, you know drink some tea I'm uh, gonna show you guys my tea in another video I think it's very important I really think so if it doesn't work then I feel better doing it um, I don't know any studies behind it I just feel better drinking tea when I cut I really feel like it just um, you know gives me better bowel movements I shit better if you don't know what bowel means um, so yeah guys thank you very much for the support thank you very much for watching the video I appreciate everyone for supporting me in this journey and uh, coming along and tuning in you know I have nothing but appreciation um, and gratitude I really do um, I don't even this might not even be possible if I didn't have this kind of support really you know when you have people like yourselves behind someone like me saying all the positive things that you guys do say I can't even read all of them I can't even say all of them so many positive things it really helps those days when I'm down and I'm exhausted and I'm like I can't do this I'm tired I feel like I'm gonna die um, I need food I don't know whatever it can be I can get a comment on somewhere and that really brings you up because not only Am I trying to believe in myself? But there really are people out there who also believe in me and believe in what I'm doing. And uh, that's why it's positive because there's believers out there. Other people believe in what I'm doing. <sighs> Anyways, guys, the crosshair, body of legends, seven weeks out of the AMBF World Championships. Key West Florida. If you can make it out, definitely make it out. Um, if you are there, definitely we will catch a workout. You best believe that. Hit me up. Say hi. Um, we'll chill. Whatever. I'll be depleted. I'll be exhausted, but you know I'll I'll have no issue hanging out with anyone. Definitely. Um, be safe on Halloween. Enjoy it. Um, I might do a little thing, I don't know, but anyways, finishing my cardio and going to bed. I'm out. See you next time.